Hi guys, um, this is Mr. Barthold speaking. This is the first video that I'm making. I'm going to try to uh, upload these videos onto YouTube so that um, you know things that I find students are having trouble with, I'll uh, I'll make a video and that way you can look at it you know a hundred different times and practice it on your own and use it as a study guide for y'all um, at home. You know, in addition to coming to tutoring and all the all the hard work that I know you'll put into my class. So um, the first video has to do with measuring angles and so if y'all feel comfortable with this I just want to go over this um, since this is an important part of graphing vectors which seems to be a huge issue for for a lot of people. So just a reminder from I guess your algebra classes of the basic quadrants I guess an angle um, basically angles start from the right side or from I guess this is the first quadrant you would say and so if we just have a, a straight line here it's an angle of zero degrees if that straight line points to the right and um, if the angle looks something like this right angle here it's a 90 degree angle uh, 180 degrees is going to be on our left and 270 degrees on the bottom this is, this is just like the unit circle you know, whenever we get back to the zero, this is also 360 degrees once you go all the way around. So um, this can kind of be used as a reference, and so, uh, and I'll, I'll be referring to that throughout. So the first one we're going to measure and draw, I should say, is a 50 degree angle. And so from a our dot that we are drawing all of our vectors from, if we wanted to measure a 50 degree angle, Obviously, I need to give you a horizontal line for reference. So, let's say here is our reference point. Then, to measure 50 degrees, this little hole right here in the middle of the protractor is going to go right on our dot. And we're going to line up the crosshair so that it lines up with our, our reference line. And so, if you're doing this on your own, if you have graph paper or... Um, you know any sort of horizontal reference you can use so once we line that up we have our 50 degrees remember we have these two numbers here we have 170 and 10 one, uh, 160 and 20 150 so which ones do we use so we know that angles are gonna start from the right and so this is our zero degree here and so we're gonna be using this counting up 10 20 30 40 remember 90 degrees is straight up top and so a 50 degree angle is right here sorry this this G is in the way but it's going to be right here, so we're going to mark that, and we construct our 50 degree angle just like that. All right, so I'm sure many of y'all are familiar with this. And so there we have 50 degrees. So if you're drawing a vector that is at 50 degrees, remember it does not look like this. And I, I do this caution with caution. I don't want to. Uh, confuse y'all but there's our horizontal reference it does not it is not this 50 degrees you draw something like this that is not this it is true this here is 50 degrees but we always measure our angles from the right so this is not 50 degrees this is actually 130 degrees we can, we can measure that that way to where we're using the inside numbers and it's 130. So not 50 degrees, 50 degrees. All right. So the next one we're going to do is going to be 137 degrees. And so looking at our reference, we know that it's going to be between 90 and 180. And luckily, our protractor does go all the way up to 137. So we have our dot. We have our reference line. And so, again, lining up our hole on the dot, we're going to measure, making sure that we're in line, 90, 130, 135, 36, 37, so you're right there, and we just draw our line that away. So this is 137 degrees. So I'm sure, so these two, and I'm seeing in class that these two, um, y'all can do pretty well. So the tricky ones happen, say, 
we have, we have a 242 degree that we need to construct. 242 degrees. So we look at our protractor. It's like, well, gee, Mr. Barthel, this only goes up to 180. How do I measure 242? So again, using our reference, we know that, well, 242 is between 180 and 270. So it's going to point somewhere in that direction. So if we have our dot, we have our reference line. We know that it's going to point somewhere in that direction, between 180 and 270. So to the left, remember this is 0. To the left or over here is going to be 180. Well, how much further do we need to go to get to 242? So this is 180. So if we go, we have to do a little bit of subtraction here. So 242 minus 180, we've got 214, 6. Carry, you know, we borrowed a 1 there. So 62 degrees. So from this horizontal line, we actually have to go 62 degrees downward in this direction. So we're going to flip our protractor over. Still lined up with the horizontal. So here we have, remember, to the left we have 180. And now we need to count 62 more degrees. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So here's our 61, 62. Put a little dot there, so that way when we move our protractor, we know where it's at. And then now we simply just draw our, our, our um, angle, I guess. If this were a vector with the magnitude, then we draw the appropriate length. And this angle right here, that entire angle, is 242 degrees. And again, it's just, you know, if, if I'll go ahead and draw this nice and straight. If we just have this reference line, this is 180, and then we added 62 degrees. I know that's, that's not appropriate math labeling. Um, technically, you know, you just you know, draw a little arc there. But, um, so you only measured a 62 degree angle, and you just added it on by flipping your protractor over. So, similarly, for our last quadrant, let's say we needed to draw a 330 degree angle. So this is going to be 330 degrees. Same thing, we're above 180, so we're going to have to do something a little bit different. Or we're going to have to flip our protractor over again. Oops, sorry about that. So now, to the left, whenever we flip over, to the left, again, is 180. Let me try and get this nice and precise here. So here is 180. Well, how much further do we need to go? Well, we need to go to 330. We already have 180, so again, we're going to do some subtraction. And so we have 0. Looks like we have 150. So now from our 180 mark, we're going to measure 150 more. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, yada, 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 to 150. And draw our angle. So it looks kind of weird, but starting from the right, remember all measure, uh, angles go from the right. This angle right here is 330 degrees. But the only one you, you had to measure was from 180, 150 extra. So you're actually measuring 150 degree angle. Sorry about that. And uh, But you construct this angle right here, the one you measured is 150 degrees. I'm not going gonna, not gonna to write that. So, so that's an example of graphing in each of the four quadrants. So first one is 50. 137, remember the trickiest part here is to make sure that you're measuring from the right. You're using the inside numbers on the protractors, not the outside numbers. And um, whenever you have numbers above 180, you just have to subtract it from 180 to see, well, what do I have to add to it to get to the angle I'm looking for? So um, hopefully uh, you got something out of this video. And uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to post another one on how to actually add vectors. So uh, be on the lookout for that one. Goodbye.